We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection figure review. And we're looking at the TIE Fighter Pilot. This is a repack. Um, yeah, I want to give thanks to Goodies Toys for donating this one for review. Um, it does have a couple of creases in the card and he just had some damaged stock. So um, he, he sent, gave this one over to me for, to do a review of. Crack it open and have a look. Um, it is VC65. <clears throat> Um, interestingly, they decided to go with the Return of the Jedi card, um, which, you know, did come out on the Return of the Jedi card as well. It came out on the Revenge of the Jedi card, I believe, as well, uh, back in 2011-2012. Um, but interestingly, they chose to do that again, despite the same image from Empire Strikes Back being used. Um, minor difference with this figure is... Um, he does have some paint deco differences, so we'll check them out and uh, compare them to some of the previous releases of the TIE Fighter Pilot. Because um, it is quite, it is quite an old figure now, but uh, we'll check them out. I'm a big fan of the TIE Pilot, so um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like. Let's crack it open and have a look. Alright, so here it is, the TIE Fighter Pilot. Now, this one, like I said, is a repack with some slight uh, paint differences so we'll take a look at the head sculpt first because uh, this is back when Hasbro just used clone heads as as pilots so I'm just going to drop that light down a little bit so we don't get that sort of heavy glare and they've actually applied some photo real paint to the uh, to the face of this one it looks quite good it almost doesn't look cloney um, George Cloney that was a bad joke. Um, so this is meant to be Clone Pilot Lieutenant Azizo, which I believe is the correct pronunciation, I'm not sure. But it's O-X-I-X-O. And uh, you can tell because we look on the helmet, they did this one with the Black Series 2. They gave us a repaint. Um, he's got the silver sort of streak on the top of the helmet there. And it's very, very faint. And it's not going to be good enough to uh, zoom in on there. But uh, it's meant to say say his name on the top of his helmet. And he's a character from the Expanded Universe of Old. So I actually really like the look of the TIE Pilot without the, sort of, without the helmet and the chest armor. I just wish there wasn't that gaping hole. Otherwise he looks like a quite a cool looking trooper. I'm a big fan of the TIE Pilots. Um, really like the really like the helmet. I'm not sure what it is. The uh, vintage tie pilot is one of my favourite vintage figures. Um, but they've given this one a really nice glossy looking helmet. I will be honest and say I still don't think this is the definitive release. I mean, I think they can definitely improve the tie pilot if they get it closer to what they did with the black series one. You'll be almost there. But I do like the. Uh, the sort of gloss of the uh, armor, the shine of the helmet, the gloves, sort of the matte of the suit. Got his uh, blaster pistol there, which does fit in the holster nicely. <clears throat> so we'll basically compare that with the original release. So there was those slight paint differences on the helmet. This one actually has a little bit of a defect where Imperial insignia wasn't marked on there properly. So I just put it down as like battle damage. And I'm just looking at this guy's belt here. I'm not sure if that's actually an individual piece. It looks like it is. Whereas this guy's... Oh yeah, well, this one has two as well. So they sort of just glued a belt over the top of the sculpt so that you can have that holster. Oh yeah, I never noticed that before. It's funny what you see when you get nice and close with a figure on camera. So again, we'll take a look at this guy's head sculpt. And this one was even pretty good for the time. So this figure is... Let's have a look on the back there. 2008 if you can 
see. Do that on the foot. 2008, so this is a 13 year old figure now. It's probably had a good run, but uh, you know, it's still fine. It, it's alright, you know, for some good background troopers, it's not too bad. And of course, here's the other one. Now, I can't remember this guy's name. Um, but he has the sort of two sort of silver stripes down the down the cheeks there Almost like uh, teardrops and uh, Again, this guy should have the same helmet head <laughs> helmet Yeah, pretty much, but it's not a bad look. It's okay um, It doesn't look super duper cloney, but obviously next to each other they do <laughs> So yeah, essentially the same figure, just ever so slightly different uh, paint apps. And here's the new one here with a slightly shinier helmet. But yeah, overall, not a bad figure at all. Um, just I just think there's probably probably time for an update. I know this, the head sculpt of the helmets they, they did with the TIE Fighter pilot that came out with Solo um, was, you know, a beautiful sculpt. Um, that would have worked absolutely perfectly on this body um, and some ball jointed hips would be nice too because they're a little bit a little bit clunky and dated now but it's fine these guys just sort of sit in the back and it's actually cool now to have three different pilots All right I'll just zoom in again to have three different like tie, tie looking pilots um, different looking tie pilots that can uh, sort of form a bit of a squadron So that's kind of cool. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.